What's going guys, Zanus here and today in this video of Epic 7, let's summon Rowana. I really need her. I've actually already created a video content about her, explaining why she is so amazing. And if you guys are pretty much asking me, should you really pull this hero unit? I would say like, hell yeah, because she can pretty much counter a lot of meta units like let's say uh, Seaside Bellona. Uh, ML Gerato, any kind of like multi-hitting uh, units that pretty much like uh, comes in a form of like counter, dual attack or extra attack, all right? So please try to get this unit. You are going to really need her, especially for your PvP Connect. She is a very good Soul Weaver unit that also really does provide a lot of healing as well. And there are so many things, guys. Anyways, let's uh, get into summoning her right off the bat. I really need her, all right? So let's get this on guys. I have been actually able to uh, collect a lot of Covenant Summon bookmarks. So, <laughs> yippee! Oh well guys. Well, what's the best thing about uh, her is her passive skill. Her skill number two. What's gonna happen is that like whenever an attack comes from the opponents in form of like counter attack, dual attack, or extra attack like let like let's say off suicide Bellona counter attack from uh, ML Zerato like this kind of units all right you can pretty much heal your allies and also at the same time improve their CR rating okay depending upon the allies hit uh, during the auto attack <laughs> I mean like during the uh, dual attack uh, counter attack or the extra attack uh, you will recover a proportional level or a proportional amount of CR as well as the uh, healing all right so there we go that's how it is so obviously against the seaside Bellona what's gonna happen is that you are gonna receive 20% of combat readiness boost for your entire allies and also at the same time you will be receiving a very good amount of healing boost so just imagine guys I mean like you are taking damage and also at the same time you are healing yourself isn't that amazing and also at the same time improving your combat readiness boost is very important especially to you know like uh, interrupt the uh, chemistry or let's say the rhythm or the momentum of the uh, setup of the opponents okay if you can just <laughs> interrupt the rhythm things can go really good for you guys all right so that's the thing right over there even though like i really have a very good team setup sometimes due to a very bad uh, rhythm uh, what's gonna happen i still keep on losing okay anyways let's see right over here oh man come on come on brother come on brother oh yeah <laughs> oh wrong side but still i got the artifact guys artifact torch of records this is really great artifact indeed uh in my opinion all right it says recovers the health of all allies by 10 percent after being attacked okay so there we go just try to put her in the front line and she's actually going to recover the health of all allies just look at that i mean like this is obviously going to be like one of the really great artifacts especially if you are trying to fight against uh weaver right <laughs> ah, right over there there we go i mean like if there is going to be an aoa attack that pretty much targets all of your allies what's going to happen like she's also going to take some damage and also with that one she's going to improve more health okay so this thoughts of records is going to really help you guys a lot in countering those kind of units that pretty much counter attack dual attack or extra attack in multiple uh i mean like two multiple units of your ally team okay so there we go that's that's how it is anyways let's keep on <laughs> summoning guys i'm pretty much happy that i got the touch of records so this is gonna be ruzid uh well uh that guy is pretty good for the beginners if you really want to have a very good uh, speed boosting or cr boosting unit then ruzid can really help you a lot especially with his uh, third skill and his uh, devotion skill all right because that provides up to the speed boost of eight i guess uh, in, in max for everyone which is really great all right so anyways let's keep on moving on guys let's keep on moving on okay oh man well this totem i've never used it never gonna use it in my life butterfly mandolin never gonna use it never gonna use it i really don't know like where i can use that thing Goblin lamp, pretty much an extra, what do you call that? Uh, powder dust of knowledge. Okay, exorcist stone fire, that's really great, but I have already maxed that one out. Uh, that's gonna be really great, especially for your DPS type hero units, like soul bad guy, um, Sermia, okay? If you really want to have that extra attack damage. Okay, come on guys, come on, wish me luck. Come on, brother, come on, oh man, oh! <laughs> okay, there we go, I've got 
some luck, guys. I've got some luck, okay? I'm really happy. Okay, so, well, I've got a new artifact. Five star net artifact. It says 10% chance for a skill cooldown not to occur. Okay, so there we go. That means, like, they, you will be able to uh, channel your skill again, okay? Uh, that means, like, uh, your skill will not go into the cooldown, and there's gonna be a 20% chance. Okay, so that's really great, isn't it? Uh, well, I mean, you know, like, at the max level, which is obviously gonna be really hard to obtain. Come on, brother. Ah, oh, man. He did not, he did not. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Who's it gonna be? Oh, my God. Kawana. Uh, I still, I, I still don't know this unit, though. Oh well. Anyway, oh, can I can we just look into its sneak peek? Hey there! Attacks the enemy with the sharp sickles. Uh, thirty-five percent chance to bleed. Oh, seems like a mini Shurin, right? Uh, not Shurin. Uh, yeah, Shurin. Starting one before depleting two buffs, increasing the damage dealt. Uh, fire elemental heroes. Ah, okay, whatever. Blah blah blah. Uh, let's, keep, let's keep on moving on, guys. Kawana. Ah, okay. Anyways, that's a very new unit in my stash. I never got uh, her. Oh man. I'm like, I, is it just me or even you guys that like, I have been not really that lucky to get extra copies of said, which is kind of really surprising for me. I've got a lot of copies of like Akedes, um, Angelica, um, uh, Surin, uh, Shuri, uh, so many other units, but said I just have got his one copy and after that one, I've never been able to summon him again, which is like very surprising for me. I'm like, I kind of find it really, you know, like absurd. Anyways, Daydream Joker, that was really good uh, artifact, uh, Tristan had artifact. Anyways, let's keep on moving on, guys. Montromancy, I mean, Montmorency, okay? She is a really great healer indeed. If you guys are very beginner and you guys are really looking forward for a very amazing healer, then try to get Montmorency and try to speciality change her right off the bat. She is one of the really amazing end game type content type of healer unit, okay? So don't underestimate her she is really really fast unit she is really fast she can actually heal a lot and she can really provide a lot of aid to the team okay so that's the montmorency for you guys oh man i'm not actually getting a lot of twinkles what the hell come on come on give me some hope give me some chance time <laughs> seems like even today i'm actually going to be a part of this what do you call this what do you call this 121 club member guys Oh man. Anyways, what about you guys? If you guys have like uh, easier time in summoning the Rowana, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, were you guys also a part of the 121 Club member, which I think I'm also gonna be a part of? <laughs> uh, just let me know, all right? Let me know, let me know. And I think I'm pretty much out of my Covenant Summon bookmarks. Uh, what I'm gonna actually do is. I'm gonna go back into the shop and let's try to buy it. If you guys are beginners, then I will actually show you how it's done, okay? Just go into the shop and right over here uh, with the normal section, uh, just try to buy this one, okay? Uh, you will get uh, really a lot of Covenant Summon bookmarks, okay? And that will really allow you to summon a lot, okay? So there we go. That's how it's done, okay? Okay, connecting, connecting. <laughs> Why is it getting sluggish? Maybe so many players are pretty much, you know, uh, what do you call that? Summoning right at the bat right now. So let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Uh, not, not this one, not this one. Right over here, the banner. Uh, one thing I really love about this uh, Epic 7 is the true banner existence, okay? It's a true banner. That means, like, if I actually manage to get that 5 star net hero unit, it's gonna be Rowana. 100% chance, okay? So I really love this game because of the true banner it provides. So there we go. That's a uh, four star net artifact, Elfest. Okay, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Let's keep on moving on, guys. Let's keep on moving on. Compared to so many other games out there who actually does provide a very high rate chance of getting five star net hero units or like artifact, I think even like with 1% chance, it's actually gonna make a, a very impressionable, uh, you know, like uh, status because it's a true banner, guys. I mean, like if you just get or if you just manage to land a 5 star net hero unit, it's gonna be the banner unit. And I think that is pretty much better compared to even like 3% chance of dropping rate of a 5 star net hero unit, okay? Because like what if, I mean like, what would be the case if you actually manage to pull a dupes, okay? Because like there are so many other RPG games right out there which actually does provide you with a lot of dupes. Like let's say One Piece Treasure Cruise. 
even though sometimes it does provide a higher chance rate of getting the legends or let's say the uh, the best characters but you know usually they are the dupes they are the copies and oh man who is it gonna be ah oh, come on i would really love to have some really good chains you know I, i'm really looking forward for that extra copy of said ah oh, man okay so anyways uh let's keep on moving on guys let's keep on moving on let's keep on moving on it would have been really great if uh we could have actually managed to pull some of the ml units from the banner summons as well you know first time at ml units would that really hurt <laughs> i would not really think so okay so anyways let's keep oh, man come on come on come on brother come on brother pop up from the right ah shit seems like this banner is really going to make me a victim of wild 21 club member guys anyways let's keep on moving on guys let's keep on moving on how many summons left? How many summons left? 50 summons left! <sighs> Shit, that's a lot guys, that's a lot. Oh man, come on, come on, Raven Joker. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, I have got a really good vibe. I've got a really good... <laughs> My vibe doesn't really count guys, and I'm really getting an artifact. Oh, Barthes of Kubulum. Oh, oh, I, I really don't think it's really that great though. 10% chance to decrease the damage received when attacked by 50%. Oh, 20% chance to decrease. Okay, so there we go. That's 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 really great, especially for the uh, knight. But it is a maze artifact, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. Come on, brother! Come on! Oh. Okay, okay. Not artifact anymore. Not artifact anymore. Okay, Cartuza. He's really great. Uh, he's awesome. He's awesome. I like him. I like him. I like him. His passive is just too good. Combat readiness increases by 10% when attack. Combat readiness increases by an additional 10% when the caster health is less than 50%. Okay, anyways, uh, well. <laughs> oh man, so many twinkles. Come on, Ruana. You are supposed to be mine. Come on, Ruana. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Okay, wow, that's a waifu. I really don't know like which unit that is. I mean like do we have that hero unit that was pretty much portrayed in that artifact? I mean like, you know, those curves are really something. This girl, no curves. <laughs> no curve. Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on guys. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Ah shit, shit, shit. A unit, a unit, a unit. Maya. Oh well. Never used it, and like never used her, guys. Never gonna use her. Never gonna use her. Never ever gonna use it. Anyways, let's keep on moving on, guys. Let's keep on moving on. Oh well, flat chested, flat chested. I'm like, if there are any women right out here who are pretty much watching this video, please don't feel offended, all right? <laughs> oh man, this artifact useless. I'm not gonna use that artifact anymore. Uh, this rules it really great. Uh, well, if you get uh, multiple copies of him, please try to you feed him to himself, okay? Do the cannibalism, and what's gonna happen? He's gonna have the devotion skill boosted, and that's what it is gonna be. Montromancy, wow, I'm getting a lot of Montromancy, guys. Ascending X, improving the crit rate, okay. Uh, could be usable, could be usable. Devil's Brand, uh, but. Oh, uh, well, Butcher Corpse Inquisitor. Uh, not my type, not my type unit, guys, not my type. Devil's Brand again, bleh. Okay, so let's keep on moving on, guys. Uh, Okay, Hazel is really great. Hazel is really awesome, especially for providing that greater type attack boost for your fire type hero units. So uh, if you have Soul Bad Guy, you can pretty much deal a very amazing amount of damage. Or let's say Sermia, right? Or uh, Ken. There we go. That's how it is. Uh, Prophetic Candlestick is really great as well. This one, Mighty Yaksha. I thought it was really good, but never gonna use it. Never used that. A Montmorency. A Montmorency. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, <laughs> there's a chance, there is a chance. Oh, my man. oh an artifact again, oh, again, Hellcotter, never used it guys, never ever used this, uh, never ever used this one, and never, never, never ever used it. Okay, so there we go, Mandolin, uh, 24 more summons, right, it said, okay, so anyways, let's get back into the shop, uh, seems like this game is really determined, and... Putting me into the 121 club member, okay? So let's try to buy the three packs, and I think uh, it's pretty much enough. But damn, oh damn, I'm really getting hurt. <laughs> 121 club, guys, 121 club. So, anyways, let's keep on pulling on. Let's keep on pulling on on this banner, okay? 
But let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Now. <laughs> now. With all my might. With all my might. Ah. Man. Ah. All the luck. Okay. Lots. Uh, I'm lots. Uh, I'll do whatever you uh, need. If it would have been a lots, that would have been like so, so great. It's one of the top tier units in the game. But lots. Uh, okay. Man. Anyways, let's keep on moving on, guys. Let's keep on moving on. We didn't have no choice at all. Okay, all we can do is just let's keep on moving on, guys. Let's keep on moving on. Summon again. Can we do that? Can we do that? Okay, Helga. There's actually a video where Helga is very, very awesome. She's pretty much immortal. Okay, it's very hard to kill Helga, especially if you have like ML Akeres. We can actually provide the immortality buff to Helga. And if you can use that kind of combination, OMG, things are gonna go really good. That's why I can really tell to you guys, all right? That's Helga for you guys, okay? Anyways, let's keep on moving on. Our Chimera is not good, not good. Uh, not really that great. Grail of Blood, never gonna use it. A worthless artifact. What's it gonna be? Uh, Egg of Delusion, uh, it's nothing, nothing. Uh, Montmorency again. Wow, this girl really likes me. <laughs> okay, that girl really likes me. I, it feels like I feel like she's stalking me, guys. She's pretty much stalking me. Okay, uh, so uh, seems like eight more summons left. Okay, so that means uh, I'm pretty much near to become like 121 club member. Oh my god, and thanks to that, this video is actually very long. And if you guys are still hanging out with me, then congratulations and thanks for watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Oh man. Okay, Lena is really awesome. She's pretty awesome, especially for the beginners who are really trying to farm these stages really fast. And we were not that really lucky to get amazing farming units like Vilred. And you can use the Lena, okay? She's a Machu type woman unit who can pretty much take care of multiple opponents at the same time. So there we go. Forest Totem, pretty much useless. Okay. I think this is the 121 uh, summon, right? Isn't it? Yes. It is. It is. It is, guys. The meeting was destined. Yeah, after spending a lot of cash into that one. I okay. I see the source of light. radiant light. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. All right. So look at that, man. I mean, like, isn't she worth to be your waifu? I mean, like, doesn't she actually really strike you as a waifu? I mean, like, it does for me. I mean, like, just look at that. That's. That's some uniform right over there, guys. That's some uniform. Ah, oh, man. Anyways, let's look into the detail, guys. Uh, anyways, we have actually come out here for, for so far, okay? So anyways, let's try to uh, discuss about it. Our skill too, known as the Vigilant Eye. This is the one that will recover health of our allies when an ally is attacked by an extra attack. Extra attack refers to the extra attack of Seaside Bellona, all right? That's an extra attack. Counter attack. Well, uh, it refers to that of like uh, ML Zerato, ML Ken. Uh, and a violet, okay, uh, or dual attack. Obviously, that coming from the Lilias or let's say ML Angelica, sinful Angelica, uh, ML, uh, you know, like Kitty Clarissa. Okay, so there we go. And increases the combat readiness of all allies by five percent per each uh, attacked ally. Okay, so more the allies are attacked by this kind of attacks, uh, the more combat readiness is gonna be recovered. That means like whenever Seaside Villona is gonna counter attack, right? I mean like she's gonna do that extra attack. She's gonna hit all the allies, right? All the units, right? So in that case, five times four, 20% of combat readiness boost. So there we go. That's the basic math. Whereas for like ML Zerato, uh, what's gonna happen? Like he's gonna counter two units at a time, right? So five times two, 10% of combat readiness boost to your allies, plus some really good health boost as well. Amount recovered is proportional to the cost of max health and the numbers of the attacked allies. So more allies are attacked, uh, the more health he is actually gonna recover for the entire unit. That means it's a really good counter for the SSB. Right off the bat, Vigilant Eye, one of the really awesome skill right out there in the game. Whereas for third skill really provides that uh, revive buff and also provide a very good health recovery for everyone, which is so amazing. Amazing. and it has only a four turn of cooldown really good isn't it <laughs> I like that I like that and finally her skill one is gonna be the soul purification that provides a barrier to just one unit uh, with the lowest health but if you actually soul burn it with 20 soul she's actually gonna provide the barrier for everyone for two turns all right so it's pretty great isn't it I like that so there we go that's Ruana for you guys a busty a very amazing a very nice curvy unit indeed i like her and she's obviously gonna be my wife you
<laughs> okay, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contest of my channel. And see you guys in the next video.